What's up everybody? This is Sunny Solanki and in this video I will provide a step by step guide on integrating bokeh charts into Django web app. We will create a simple stock analysis web app that displays candlestick chart of historical stock prices for the selected stock ticker. The candlestick chart will be created using Python data visualization library Bokeh. Apart from Bokeh and Django, we will also use a front end framework Bootstrap to set the layout of the web app. So before I start with the code explanation, let me show you what our app looks like. Here is a sample image of what our final app will look like. So on the left side, I have a sidebar where list of tickers are displayed and each individual card over there is a clickable link. So when you click on the particular card or particular link, OHLC chart or a candlestick chart for that particular ticker will be updated, which will show the historical stock prices for last three months. Apart from that, the information like uh, the name of the company, last close price, change in the close price, industry, sector, and a small business description of the company will be displayed as well. So this is what we are going to create in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and start with the code explanation part. The total code for the Django web app is kept in this file name bokeh underscore integration. So to create the project, I executed the command in the terminal Django admin start project bokeh underscore integration. So that command will create this folder book underscore integration and manage.py files and so on. And once we have created a project, we need to create a one app. For that, you need to go to the folder book underscore integration and execute command python manage.py start app stock underscore dashboard. So that command will create this folder stock dashboard. So now that uh, we have created a project and app inside it, next let me explain you the files that I have changed. The first file that I change is urls.py file of bokeh integration folder. So this is the entry point URL file of our project. And over there I have made two entries. So the first entry is for the home page of our web app. And for that I am calling views.index function. And this views is a views of a stock dashboard, our stock dashboard web app, which I will explain later. And next is the path stock slash. So whatever goes after source stock slash will be handled using this url stock underscore dashboard urls file so that's the urls file present in stock underscore dashboard app the next file that i have changed is urls.py file which is present inside of this stock underscore dashboard folder and over there there is only single entry which is for the ticker so this is the pattern to match ticker name and the function is display underscore ticker which is defined inside this views file which is present in the same folder uh, so the url pattern is like this root domain slash stock slash aapl so aapl will be the ticker for which we will display candlestick chart next is the views.py file of our stock dashboard app so this file will have various function for handling requests incoming requests so at the top, I have few imports. So I have used the Yahoo Finance library to retrieve historical stock data. And from Bokeh, I have import figure for creating a Bokeh figure. And then from Bokeh.embed, I imported this function name components. And this function takes as input figure and returns a div and scripts, which we will include in our HTML page to display candlestick chart inside of that HTML page. So first of all, there are two lists. So these are the two constants. So list of tickers and the name of that companies of that tickers are maintained in this tool list. And this will be used to create a sidebar. Below that, I have index function. So if you remember, this function will be called for our home page. So whenever request for home page comes in, we are simply redirecting that request to this URL stock slash AAPL. So stock slash AAPL is our first ticker. Next, I have declared a helper function which will be used to retrieve stock data, historical stock prices. So retrieve stock data function takes ticker as input. So this will be the string with ticker name like AAPL and MSFT and so on. So first of all, using Yahoo Finance library, we create a ticker object with that ticker name. And this ticker object has uh, various functions and attributes which we can call to retrieve data. So from that ticker object, I am calling info, which is attribute of ticker object. And it's a dictionary which has information like which sector, industry, business, other company works in and so on. 
next is i am calling a history function on that ticker object and over there i have provided period three months so for three months historical stock prices for the selected ticker will be retrieved and it will be present as a pandas data frame and last i am returning that uh, historical data frame and the ticker info dictionary next function will be used to create our candlestick chart so it takes a historical data frame as input and then create bokeh figure and returns it so first of all simply there are comparison between open and close prices so when close prices is greater than open then it will be used to create a green candles and when open is greater than close then it will be created used to create a red candles so over here i am creating a figure object and then this line of code creates uh, black lines between high and low prices next vbar function this line of code will create green candles and the next line of code will create red candles for our candlestick chart and then i am relabeling the axis and simply returning the figure object next is the most important function of our views.py file which is display ticker and this function is responsible for handling incoming request and then generating the final page of our web app so it takes the request and the selected ticker so whatever ticker is given into the url that will come over here and first of all it will call retrieve stock data function with the given ticker name to retrieve historical stock prices and the info dictionary about that stock then for next two lines of code it's uh, simply retrieving the last two close prices and calculating the change in the close price from the previous day and the percentage change next line of code is uh, calling our create candlestick chart function with our historical data frame and it will return a candlestick figure so this is the bokeh figure and we are giving this bokeh figure to this components function and components function returns two strings so first string is a javascript and second is a html div so in this script the total javascript code is present for rendering our candlestick chart and this chart div is a simple html div tag inside of which the candlestick chart will be drawn next is the context which will be given for our page and as you can see context is a dictionary with information like uh, list of tickers and their names the current ticker script the div the name industry sector and all the information which we will need to render our page are given as over here as a dictionary and this context information will be given over here in call to render function so render function will take this ticker display.html page and create our final app so next let me explain you the content of this ticker underscore display dot html file so the ticker underscore html file is inside of stock dashboard folder which is inside of our bokeh integration and inside of that we need to create a folder named templates and again inside of that we need to create a folder named stock underscore dashboard and there i have kept this file ticker underscore display dot html and this is the final one and only html file of our, of our app so at the beginning of the app in the header i have few scripts so these two lines of code over here are javascript and css for bootstrap framework so it's a front-end framework which we will use to set the layout of our app next is the script of bokeh so based on the bokeh version installed on your system you need to include this script so this script has a definitions and classes for creating various charts it's like you install a python library on your system the same way you need this script in the head of your app in order to display bokeh charts next is the main body of the html page so first of all there is a simple container div and inside of that uh, container div is another div named row so what this row div does is that whatever divs are present inside of this row div they will be arranged in a row like fashion so inside of that i have only two divs and the div has a class call tree and call nine so for those of you who don't know how bootstrap works uh, it divides the total space available the total width of the outside container into 12 columns so from the 12 columns this div uses three column and the div below uses nine column so this first div is the div of the sidebar so let me expand it and as you can see over here first of all there is a simple h4 tag for displaying the header analyze ticker and below that there is a for loop 
so this is a django template code for loop and i am looping through tickers which is if you remember we have zipped the ticker ticker names and the names of the company so each individual entry is ticker and the name of the company and for each individual ticker i am simply creating link and over there i have given url stock slash the ticker name and over here simply card div is created inside of this uh, link to display the name of the ticker so this is the code for the sidebar next is the div of our candlestick chart so that div has call 9 and inside of that first of all there is a header h1 header which is the header of our web app and below that there is another row div so this row div will be displaying information like the name of the ticker and so on so let me expand it and as you can see first of all over there there is a div which display the name of the ticker and the company below that there is a if else condition for displaying the close price so if the close price over here i am checking for whether there is a dash in the close price so if the close price is negative when then we display it with the red color and if the price is positive then we display it with the green color so that's what that div is doing the next div displays uh, simply industry so which industry that the company works in and then the next div inside of that is for displaying the sector information so all this information are displayed in a single row and below that i have simple p tag html p tag which displays the summary which is the business summary of the company and i have truncated it to 500 characters because some companies has a very long summary and below that we have a div of our candlestick chart so it's a simple card div and over there first of all i have simply included a header card header which will say the name of the ticker and ohlc chart and below that is the card body so inside of that i included a script and the div of our chart which we return from views.py so what happens when this page gets rendered is that this script will be executed and this script will use various classes and functions which are defined in this uh, bokeh min.js which we included in the header and then it will create a bokeh chart inside of this div hist chart div so yeah now that i have explained you the contents of this ticker display html let me start the server and show you how our app looks like to bring up the server first of all i need to start a terminal and over here i simply need to execute command then manage.py run server and this will bring up the server from which we can access our app so as you can see the server is running an app is available from this url so let me copy it let me go to the url and yeah here is our app and as you can see when i tried to access root url it redirected me to this url stock slash aapl which is our first ticker and as you can see on the right side the information about apple is displayed last close price industry sector and so on and this is the candlestick chart displaying historical stock prices for the last three months so let me click a few more links and yeah as you can see the chart for nvidia got displayed as soon as i click on nvidia all right so that's how you can include uh, bokeh charts into django web app if you have any doubts or any questions then please feel free to let me know in the comment section and see you next time